Hi guys, it's Greg at Panels R Us. Today, with the release of FPP version 5.5 this morning, I wanted to do a very quick video on how you go about upgrading an existing uh, 5.4 installation to 5.5. Now, I received this morning um, a Pi Zero 2W uh, in the mail, and I put 5.4 on it, um, and I then had a look at my computer and discovered that 5.5 was out. So I need to upgrade it. Now, it's just running off of this little um, USB battery pack and my Pi Zero 2. So this is what we're going to be upgrading. Right, so let's switch over to um, my web browser um, and show you what we're talking about. So here we go. This is my current instance of FPP. Uh, as you can see up in the top corner here, it's running version 5.4. Now this has been set up with a static IP address and I just wanted to run through a couple of checks that you need to do before you attempt an upgrade um, and a couple of bits that you may need to configure if you've set up a static IP. If you've got one from DHCP, this should all work straight out of the box for you. Because I've set this up manually, um, it's not going to work. Uh, and we'll run through what you need to do to set things up. So if I go into Help, About, and then go to Upgrade FPP, this is going to fail for one of two reasons. Firstly, I haven't set up the gateway correctly. And this is normally the IP address of your router, uh, the gateway to the outside world, if you will. Equally, I have not set up the DNS server. Now, DNS uh, or domain name server is what uh, where FPP translates GitHub to GitHub.com into an IP address, um, and then it can go and find that server on that IP address to access the updates. Now, because I've not configured those, uh, this won't work. So let's go in and set those up now. If I go into status control and network, it's just gonna take a moment to populate, there it goes. You can see that it's automatically given us a gateway. Um, now that is wrong. I need to change that gateway to be that of my router. So I'm gonna change that now and just hit ping just to make sure it can connect to it. There we go, that's reaching that okay because we've got round trip times. So I'm gonna update the interface there. And it says, don't forget to set a DNS IP. So let's go back into the host and DNS settings at the top. And DNS is set to pull from DHCP. Um, I've set this up manually, so I'm not using DHCP. Now DNS server one, normally that will be your local home router, first of all. So that's mine and then I'm going to use an external one as a backup so I'm going to use the Cloudflare 1.1.1.1 uh, um, as a backup now you guys can use 1.1.1.1 wherever you are um, but you'll need your local um, DNS server or your uh, your home router normally for your uh, DNS server one so let's update DNS that's saved now that Oh, it wants a reboot. So we're gonna give it a reboot. Now, while that's doing that, let's say hello again. So that is just configuring um, for me uh, and doing a reboot. If you've connected and used DHCP, of course, that should all be organized for you. Um, if you're doing it manually, you just need to make sure you've got an IP address uh, on a routable network and then you've got your DNS and your gateway, and we should all be good. So FPP is still rebooting. Um, it should be back up with us in just a moment. Now 
There we go, so FPP is now back with us. So to upgrade from version 5.4 that we've got up here, let's go to help about and now okay now we can see a difference already we've got update is available so FPP has, has already been able to um, go out and check to see if there is an update and and it's managed to get to github so all we need to do is to hit upgrade FPP and it's going to pull in the changes between version 5.4 and 5.5 there we go so it's pulling those in for us now now this is this is on the pi 0 to w so it's not the fastest pi out there so you might go slightly quicker than this uh, but it's not doing bad to be fair there we go so that's brought in the update so now we can hit close and we get a nice bar across the top saying version 5.5 is ready to install. So let's just hit upgrade FPP. And we'll hit upgrade and OK. So it's stopping FPPD. Pull in the new data in that it's already downloaded. There we go. Upgrade complete. Please reboot. So if we close this window now, close this window now, and we can go down to the bottom and press reboot. There we go, FPP is rebooting. And in a few moments, we should see it return as 5.5. Now I've just noticed the CPU value changing, so I think FPP is actually back up, it's just not telling us. Uh, there we go, it's just done it by itself, the page has just refreshed, and we're up on 5.5. You'll notice that before we set the gateway and DNS settings that we didn't have an accurate clock either. Uh, that's because FPP couldn't get out to a network time server to get the current time uh, but it has now so that's in place so there you go that's a very quick how-to guide to upgrading from version 5.4 to version 5.5 on FPP I hope it was worth a quick look uh, and I hope you learned something but if not there's always next time have fun take care and we'll see you soon bye